Hi there, my pickles, my snowflakes, and my turtles, and my members of the No Matter What Club. Here we are. It's just, it's just another day. It's 5.30, and it's light out. I like that. We actually had a temp bump. We've gone from 42, which was the normal temp every day for months, it seemed, with rain. And this morning, so far, it's like a little below 50. So we could be rounding the corner and spring could be here. Oh, there's so many of us that can't wait. But regardless, I'm still doing my, my keto my way and um, it just works. It's more carnivish actually. So that that's how I'm doing it. It's just, it's too easy to keep it simple. Do you know what I'm saying? It's just easier. It, it complicating my keto, my carnivish is just, it takes too much energy to try to think of like something else. And I look forward to every single thing I have. It seems like I have the same thing every day, beef and eggs with a little cheese. Oh, I do have the same thing every day. The only thing that changes is the cut of the beef. Sometimes it's ground, sometimes it's eye of the round, sometimes it's ribeye, sometimes it's beef tenderloin. Ah. <sighs> I love it, but tonight I'm having a pork chop from Whole Foods. Oh, yes, I am. And I'm going to be frying it in bacon grease. Mm hmm Yeah, that works for me. Maybe a little bit of coconut oil, but most likely some bacon grease because I've been, been back in the bacon lately. And so I've got the um, little Pyrex measuring cup of bacon grease at my, at my disposal to use, so I like that. And um, I'll have that with my three eggs and my one and a half ounces of Vivardi cheese and, and my one tablespoon of green onions, organic green onions that I got at Whole Foods, cheaper than the regular store, just saying. So sometimes it pays to shop there and the pork chops came from there. And so because they were prime and blah, 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 they ended up being greatly reduced and they're a good quality pork. So what's not to love about that? So thank you everybody for um, all your comments and watching and being members here and tuning in to have your cup of coffee with me in the morning. It's kind of like what we do. We just, just kind of unroll the day and see what happens. Um, so as usual, I've been watching other people and um, I know I will be tuning in to see Dr. Nadir. I think that's how you might say his last name. Um, Dr. Berg interviews him. And so I, I love Dr. Nadir. When he talked about cholesterol, it really helped. And um, after, after my NP um, annual visit and then the, um, <laughs> the MLM product pusher, also known as a DO, visit. Both of them recommended I lower my thyroid. I've been on 75 um, for decades. And so I went down to 50. So I'm in my second day of doing my 50. And um, I just don't seem to feel side effects from my thyroid medication ever. It's just something that it just kind of works. So I'm happy about that. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely giving credit to my keto carnivish food plan of how, why that happened after um, so many years of being over there. And I knew that they, I know that um, my NP did a, a, um, a pretty extensive thyroid panel of all the stuff um, because that is an issue. And um, so I'm happy that the need got lowered. And that's the only medication that I'm on. In the old days, the old grain and sugar days, I was on Symbicort and the emergency inhaler, inhaler and the nebulizer and um, then the steroids and the z pack all winter long. And that stopped as soon as I stopped grains and sugars. So it's, it, it all works and I'm very happy and I feel blessed. Um, so yeah, um, I'm going along and I'm just doing it up and, um, that's it. I have no 
complaints. Can you imagine? No complaints. Even when I turn this off, I don't have the complaints. Um, things are going smoothly with my three different jobs, and um, it's always interesting. I shopped for um, a definite um, vegan yesterday, a pretty much no dairy vegan. Um, I think she gives her daughter a little of the A2 milk. I don't really know what that is. There were some organic um, cheese sticks in the order, but for the most part, it was all heavy um, cereals and fruits and um, just a, a couple of veggies. I don't even really think that many. It was mostly fruits, the grapes, the cantaloupe, the apples, the <sighs> peppers, one of each color. And so it's just, I love poking my head into how somebody else eats, what they feed their children. And um, it, it's, I'm, I'm like laughing as I'm shopping. I'm sitting there thinking, well, I'd have the grass-fed burger. I'd have a couple of dozen Pete and Jerry eggs. I'd have a pound of butter. I'd have... <laughs> and um, that there was nothing we had in common whatsoever. Lovely stay-at-home mom. And uh, so it's always, it's always fun to see the other side. And um, I love my food plan. Somebody asked me, um, it was Valerie, and she said, how come I'm seeing more and more people having more meat and um, going to OMAD? What happens? Why does that happen? And I told her, it just seems like a natural progression for a lot of us. My, my gut feels great on the OMAD. It gets that nice 23 hour break and that just works for me. And the more meat, I think the meat heals. Um, and I think that uh, the eggs do too. And they just, they just hand in hand go together. And so when we, when we make up our meal, be it OMAD or TUMAD, um, you know, the, the concentration for higher protein just seems to work. And, you know, you can listen to people to people with initials after their names. You can listen to four people that talk about four different ways of handling extra protein or extra fat or not having veggies. It just, you, you can just find whatever tail you wanna hold on to and um, go along with that professional person and say, this is why I do this. And, and it's true, you know, a lot of us just do that. Um, I, I listen to Dr. Ede enough, Dr. Georgia Ede enough <clears throat> to know that perhaps um, the veggies weren't doing me any more favors anymore. And it just, it just happened. Somebody wrote to me the other day and she said, I watched how much lettuce you used to have. And I wondered, when is it going to catch up with her? <laughs> well, it did. <laughs> and so um, I think that comes out in one of the interviews I did. And it's true. You know, it just... It just happens. I wasn't looking to not have veggies. Um, the few that I have on Sunday, um, I just have because I love, and I'm not having as much of. You know, I, I think I think with veggies, it could be true for a lot of us. It's the dose, um, not the not the um, veggie itself. I don't know. It just it just seems that way for me. So what, what am I having today on my um, carnivish sort of food plan? I put it in and I tweaked it with my, yay, my pork chop, which is fun. And um, yeah, so what I'm having today, full report from Chronometer, is I'm having 1,130 calories. The protein is sorry, 113. The total carbs, not net, are, I'm sorry, I can't seem to see this today, two total carbs, and my fats are 71 grams, okay? And what I'm having today is that that pork chop from Whole Foods, and uh, it's a 10-ounce chop, or after the bone is removed, it's a 10 ounce chop. I'm having three extra large organic Pete and Jerry eggs scrambled and with one tablespoon of the chopped up green onion, I'm having um, 
42, one and a half ounces of Havarti cheese, the one from Whole Foods. I'm having my Keto non-dairy coffee creamer in my coffee, my 14 grams of fresh squeezed lemon juice over my electrolyte powders, and um, what I'm counting is two tablespoons of fat to cook the pork chop in and the eggs in. And so that is my, that is my fun for the day. I hope you had your cup of coffee as you watched this. It's just a regular, ordinary, beautiful keto carnivish day for me. And I like that. It's, it, it's nice. It's calm. It's like, okay, we can do this. It's going to work. And uh, so I hope to see you the next time. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Sarah with Just a Day in the Life. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye for now.